Probably. Damn, it took them a minute. Oh, damn, they came back, what, 10 minutes later? Oh, no. Shine, this one's kind of crazy. This involves a guard who helped several inmates actually escape from prison. And these inmates. It's kind of funny actually watching the footage of them doing this because they did it so casually. Oh, I mean, they I just strolled out at like a brisk pace. But what happened was this woman, uh, she know. gave these three inmates a set of keys so they could just leave. They could open up all the doors and stuff. Uh, and then on top of that, she was the security guard who was watching cameras. So she didn't alert anybody. And when they figured out she did this because they caught her doing it on camera, ironically, she got into quite a bit of trouble. Oh, I ain't been for in a minute, God. Minutes for these three inmates to escape from the Curry County Detention Center the morning of June 15th. Bro, what the fuck? Surveillance video from inside the jail shows 31-year-old Aaron Clark 24-year-old Ricky Sena and 28-year-old Victor Apodaca walking down a hallway before one of the men appears to take out a set of keys and unlock a secure door, making a break for it. A camera in the alley outside captured the men dressed in all white, casually walking away. Back inside the jail, a camera in the control room spots jail guard Serena Dotson alone. She seems fidgety and nervous. That's because deputies say she helped the inmates break free. And Bray, this one's a little bit different. This is actually an inmate who got caught after he escaped. This is footage of him being caught uh, in kind of an unusual way. This escaped convict, he broke out of prison and about a week it's later, away. He was, he um, I guess looking for some food or something like that. He saw that some people out in this countryside uh, had an outdoor refrigerator. I didn't know people had outdoor refrigerators. I guess I don't live in the country, but he just went and opened it up because he, he wanted some food. And it turns out that they have some security camera stuff here, including a ring doorbell, uh, which has like a camera on it. And it alerted the owners, it woke them up, and they ended up calling 911. They showed up and caught this guy. At 3.28 this morning, Curtis Ray Watson, hungry, mosquito bitten, and covered in ticks, raided an outdoor refrigerator at the Taylor home. What Watson did not know was inside, Harvey and Ann Taylor had woken up and were watching every move. They called 911, but by the time police arrived, Watson was gone. You never said that's why we got some. Man, I'm whoa. Man. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, you they did not crawl it? down the toilet somehow in some magical way. I look like some fairy tale movie. They literally pulled Sir? the toilet sink what the fuck? the wall. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the, you and my friend. The fuck? Let me walk <laughs> away. I'm going to bust this nigga shit. The prison is kind of like an older one. Why you got a fridge outside anyways? That nigga's going to walk up too. After they pulled it off and broke a bit of concrete and some plumbing and stuff, they could crawl outside just straight like that and they escape if I remember right it was like five or six different inmates at least went out this hole and <laughs> they all left they was able to kick out some concrete that uh, was uh, easily broken uh, all, along with some plumbing uh, and some other things and they kicked open a steel yeah. box unit that was uh, covering the outside of the uh, the uh, access we've had multiple issues uh, with this facility concerning uh, uh, water breaks sewage breaks uh, deterioration of the facility and uh, uh, it's it's a never-ending task to try to keep this place and this facility uh, uh, operational okay, before in the next one make sure you like on this video and also subscribe to my channel or else an escaped convict is gonna be in your closet tonight over six we've got an inmate who is trying to pull a fast one he is being transported to a medical center or something like that I'm not exactly sure why the situation behind this all I know is that he saw an opportunity 
and he went Bro, these people he's killing is shit. That's what I'm saying. For a whole 30 minutes because he ended up being hot about 30 minutes later. Basically, as he was being transported, he just bolted away and ran across the parking lot. Nah, he had to be blocking all their shots with that sword. Video shows Jason Hale trying to make his escape from an officer while on his way to a medical center. The wild chase was followed by dozens of officers and canine units. He was caught 30 minutes real. later, but not before a woman pulled out her phone to record record it all. Why? He, he saw an opportunity and he said, you know <laughs> he was what? standing out for sure. <laughs> Number five this has got to be the funniest one on this entire list, hands down, easily. This you involves a Brazilian inmate oh, who came up with an oh, ingenious, man. just absolutely... Oh. Uh, I guess creative way. Stop playing. That's a real nigga over there. there. He was given some items. Uh, he gonna bust your top. Also a mask, uh, and he was trying to disguise himself. Oh, look at him! I know it. Daughter, and then leave as if he was her. So he dressed up like I guess his 19-year-old daughter would, and then also had on this mask that made him look like a girl, albeit not a very good one. I mean, like, I, it, it, trust me, you'll understand when you see. All right, but definitely. the. People, the guards there, they realized pretty quickly Definitely. that something was up. I, I think you'll be able to I tell. Definitely. I've seen that shit. Definitely. We've seen this shit before. Man, into the ring, I'm going to. Hold on, God. Let's do a little further than this, though. Exactly. It might be the uh, same video. Clement, Brian Martin, and Troy McDaniel Jr. were captured in the parking lot of a Red Roof Inn in Cary, North Carolina. The three men, Christopher Clement, Brian Martin, and Troy McDaniel Jr. were all arraigned later in the day and signed papers waiving extradition to Ohio. The fourth escapee, Lawrence Lee III, <coughs> evaded police at the time of the arrests, but was arrested a little before 2 Monday afternoon in Durham, North Carolina. Movie 3, we got a pretty crap. He was talking for that, prison. my bad. <laughs> big prison. And uh, I guess he had escaped several hours before they even noticed. He had managed to already get a getaway car and uh, drive off and stuff. So he was as far away as he possibly could be. I do believe he ended up getting caught, albeit, uh, like I said, oh. he did carjack this woman. Scared the crap out he of her, took her keys. Niggas and understand took her, when they go to prison, they go to forever. Like, like that. now I gotta get out. It looks like he's gonna do that. So that's right how he's gonna do that. That's crazy. Right and so after escaping on foot, prison officials believe that he carjacked the victim a short time later. And so police are now looking for a Toyota RAV4 with license plate number 6 STZ. The happened about a mile away at a Home Depot parking lot. The victim told police that Mendoza walked up, motioned under a shirt like he had a and then Mendoza took the keys and fled, and the victim was not injured. Number two, this is one of the most interesting ones in this list to me, albeit that I don't think there's any audio, and on top of that, it's also recorded by a security camera that, quite frankly, go? I you think may be even somebody. worse than a rotten what potato. A but weapon, this involves a call the cops guy and you're going to get caught. It don't to make, make no sense, bro. <laughs> Try to make a friend, nigga. Be like, hey, I mean, but you can't blame me, bro. I just gave a That's real, too, bro. Yeah. 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 You can't be like, you gotta buy, you gotta be really, really lucky, bro. So they were really yeah. <laughs> Where things got well, we're trying to hotwire your car, you better yeah. off. Nigga, hey, hey, bro, bro, I just escaped from prison. Hey, bro, I'm fine. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna go back. Alright, right, watch out, go. Out. <laughs> on, on <laughs> and then he's gonna be forced to do uh, what he just did to the lady. Like, he said, like, yo, yo, give me that, give me your shit, man. You gonna be like, I mean, this man, he escaped and then managed to not have anybody notice for like 12 straight hours. I don't know why he was in court for something like that uh, and then was transferred back to jail. But somewhere in between there, he managed to escape and nobody did anything about it or noticed, like I said, for 12 hours. So he was off and free uh, trying to get away for that time. This video gives you the last look at that inmate before investigators say he disappeared. Tuesday, deputies say Ferdinand Torres Vargas went to Cleveland City Court, then he escaped from the Cuyahoga County Jail. We've learned he may have gone unnoticed for about 12 hours, and the acting sheriff admits even he didn't know about it until after the I-team started reporting on an emergency headcount of prisoners.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and also subscribe Bro. to my channel and check out the part one. Well, of how did he not this get away? Free. Links to those will be down. Yeah, twelve. Well. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I see you later, though. Should that was him? Nah, no, that's a different nigga. No, he was in there for twelve hours. But it's no way. That's a different nigga. That was a different. different nah, they said, yeah, they said that he he got away for twelve hours. Like they didn't know that he was gone for like twelve hours. And then when they when they went to do the head count. That's when they realized that someone was missing, and then they, they see they can't find him. He fell through the roof at the end of the clip. No, he didn't. This um, guy's no tripping. Oh my god. That was the clip before. Those are the same clip. Bro, look, bro, this guy's <laughs> crazy, bro. This guy's bro, crazy. Y'all niggas clip, know what I hear I'm talking about. This guy's out of his mind. Bro, make sure you like, comment, bro. This guy, cra this nigga trying to. We were, I was, we was laughing. When I when that clip when he fell out the roof, yeah, and this clip no, just ended. Yeah, that that was, was at like six minutes. Now you chilling, you always. All right, bro. <laughs> this guy, bro. Make sure you like, comment if you're new to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Also hit the bell to be notified whenever you post. You can also follow me and him on social. They down the link in the description, man. Let's get it. We finna get one meal sooner or later, and it's finna be in 2021. So let's get that shit. All right.